for any more. How could it be otherwise when two high-level sides go head-to-head -head and toe-to-toe? -to -toe? This is football out of the very top draw. Welcome along to a rather gloomy night weather-wise, but with the promise of some bright football to enjoy. I'm Guy Mowbray, joined by Sue Smith in the commentary position, and we should have a cracking contest here. It's Galatasaray, and they play Fulham. Yeah, cheers, Guy. It's great to be here. I think it's important that both teams are focused from the off, though, and they start quickly. But I'd love to see some goals. Hopefully, I've not just cursed it. Pellegrini. This is the Galatasaray team sheet. Juan Cuadrado starts with Angelino in the fullback positions. Oh, it's still in there. They're allowing space and he's finding it. And the ball has been lost. Palina. Now it needs a good ball in. Could do something here. Well, what a place to lose the ball just when the chance was on. Angelino. Pellegrini. Leandro Trossard. Genuine chance. It's in. 1 0. And that could change the shape of the game. Well, here's the replay, and he's done well to get his head up, pick out a teammate, and then from that sort of range, he's never going to miss that, is he? It's an easy finish in the end. So it's 1-0 as the game restarts. Lucas Torreira. And it's a challenge that's brought a whistle and a free kick. And unable to retain possession. Beaten easily here. A chance to deliver into the box. Cuts it back. Oh, they've lost it. The attack is over. Angelino. Zaha. Zaha. Pellegrini. Last touch off the defender. Corner to come. Well, it's the first chance that they've had in a while and the crowd are sensing this is a great opportunity. They're really getting behind them. Decent looking cross played in. And the referee has given a penalty. Up he steps to level things, and he does the job from the spot. Well, if you watch this again, his body position doesn't give anything away, and the goalkeeper can't read where he's going, and it just sends him the wrong way. It's a real tidy finish. Anthony Robinson. Palina, Herrera, good work to recover possession, Werner, and 
it's a great goal. He couldn't have met that any better. Well, let's take a look at this again. The cross is great. It's difficult to defend, and it's all about can someone get on the end of it? And all the forward has to do is get on the end of it, which he does so well. It's a really nice finish. The referee's whistle brings the first 45 minutes to a close. So the second half kicks off. Has the space to whip it in here. asked plenty of questions of the back line certainly been difficult to contain yeah what a time to score it often changes the team talk at half time when you go in with the lead we know he's got the ability and focus to do that the manager will well, be happy well there could I'm be a sure. chance here Sue and the game stops with the award of a free kick And it's only just missed. What a magnificent effort that was. Oh, and it is. And I didn't expect him to shoot from there, but he's got the belief in his ability to try it, and that was not far off. And they need to be better on the ball than that. Making good progress here. Navas... Good patient build-up, but not quite the end product. Anderson. Emre Chan. Angelino. Lucas Torreira. Jesus Navas. Ricardo Rodriguez. Pellegrini now. Zaha. This is a promising looking attack. Decent delivery. And it could be a struggle to get rid of it. Can. They could level it here and ready for it coming his way. And the ball comes in. More defensive work to do here. Well, it comes to nothing in the end.
No pressure and plenty of time for the keeper to get it. to go a long way with this but not the end result they wanted from an encouraging position now this might be promising Pellegrini and the final whistle wraps up a match that's gone the way of the visitors yeah, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. It was a real competitive game. There were chances at both ends. And they probably just about edged it overall, though. Deserved the result, in my opinion. Well, he's performed admirably. A really good performance. Managed to put his stamp on the game. Yeah, good performance and a really critical goal to give them the lead. They just couldn't cope with his movement today. A city alive with the spirit of excitement and a stadium brimming with anticipation. Welcome along to an evening that was made for football. The pitch is in great order too. I'm Guy Mowbray and I'm joined by the former England striker Sue Smith for commentary. And we should have a cracking contest here. It's Monaco and they take on Celtic. Yeah, cheers, Guy. Well, it's so loud in here, isn't it? The fans are really up for this one, and I'm sure the managers will be reminding them, remember what you need to focus on and block out all of that noise. And the ball has been lost. Here's how the home side lines up. Well, it looks like a 4-2-3-1 when they're in possession, may go to a 4-5-1 when defending. You think the double pivot in midfield, they're key to protect the back line, but they also need to get forward to support the press. There's going to be plenty of threat from the wide midfielders too, I'm sure. Here's the Celtic team sheet. Yeah, it's a 4-5-1, but it will morph into a 4-2-3-1. The single centre forward will be supported by the number 10, and you'd expect them to rotate and swap positions just to try and drag defenders out. The wide midfielders, they'll offer a threat in behind. Chance for the lead. And there's the first goal of the match. Deadlock broken. Well, here's the replay. You do have to feel for the keeper, though. He's been completely exposed, but once he's through, it's a neat finish. Very cool and collected. So off we go at 1-0. Yusuf Fofana. Ben Yedder. And they've got it back now. Tadic. There's good width to this attack now. Tadic. Will it open up for him? And that's where it ends with possession lost. Fernando. Kyogo Furuhashi. Tadic. Adam Marasic. Showing good width with this attack. Real opportunity.
And we're nearly there for the first half. And it's finally poised, Sue. Are they deservedly in front? Well, they have controlled patches of that first half. They've created some good opportunities, but only being up by one, it's so close. And it's tough to call a winner here. He's beaten his marker here. Tadic. Kyogo Furuhashi. Now Marlon. McGregor. Genuine chance. And there's another one. Valuable breathing space for them now. Well, here we can see it again. And a simple finish it may be. But it's all about the movement in the box. Just to find that yard or two of space. That's what makes it an easy finish in the end. And on that whistle, the first half comes to an end. And we're back underway for the second 45. And the game stops with the award of a free kick. They're not getting close enough here. Tadic. Oh, that's blatant. The foul committed to stop the attack. And that is a caution. Well, it's a poor challenge. Had to be booked for that. Fernando, Tadic, Malen, huge block but still danger. Well that was looking good but nothing to come from it. Needs to be careful here. Camera. Well he's certainly been influential in the first 45 minutes. What have you made of his performance Sue? Yeah, he's playing. Oh, just hold on, this could be a goal. It's in, and this game isn't lost or won just yet. Here it is again, and he catches this so well. It's a great technique. The power just takes it past the goalkeeper. Away we go again at 2-1. Fernando. Lovely ball. This could lead to something. Moving forward under no real pressure. Yuri Bashiche. Alexander Golovin, struggling to keep the ball there. Fernando. Helen McGregor. Possession really is all for them now. 
Some good work to win it there. Marlon. Kyogo. Looking to put the cross in. And the keeper more than equal to it. Mohamed Kamara. Kevin Bolland. Ben Yeda. Camera. And he's beaten his man here, using his strength well. Veshishe. It's a corner, and the look at the clock tells them that it has to be a good one. delivered well that's how to clear it no stopping him yet so the referee blows the final whistle a disappointing result, at least as far as the fans are concerned. Sue, what have you made of their overall performance? Yeah, certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little off the pace for me. Obviously a disappointing result, but the key thing is that they bounce back now as they can't afford a repeat next time out. Well, we know what a good player he is, and he's really showed it today. What's your verdict, Sue? Yeah, it's a good performance from him and his teammates. Finished well for his goal, great work rate right throughout. I'm sure he'll be happy with that. This is when it really hits home. Kickoff time is almost upon us. A colossal game. Hello to you from the Amex Stadium in Sussex by the Sea. Guy Mowbray here, and Sue Smith is here to commentate with me. And with the atmosphere building up nicely, what a match this promises to be. It's Brighton and Hove Albion, and they take on Hamburg. Thanks, Guy. Well, both managers will be reminding the players that it's important to get off to a quick start, really attack the opposition and put them on the back foot from the off. Hopefully we'll get a good game. And this could be. Out it goes. Corner coming. They take it short. Tyrone Minks. Ndidi. Great defending. The referee points to the spot. Penalty. <laughs> this to strike first. And they have paid the penalty. It's been dispatched. Well, here it is again. The keeper thinks it's going straight down the middle. So he doesn't dive. It makes for an easy finish in the end. So it's 1-0 as the game restarts. Ivan Rakitic.
That's a foul, and the sort of tackle that could mean further trouble. And it is going to be a caution. Yeah, it's a good decision from the ref. I think he knew that it was coming. pays off as they get the ball back Musa Marega Keoru Mitoma got room to operate in here it looks the right ball. This is a message for away Wilfred and Didi. At full time, can you please remain where you are and your coach will meet you outside and of the Gisa. stand. Thank you. Mitoma. More good football from them here. A chance to move clear, maybe. Sterling. Rakitic. This to level it. Well, he's kept that out nicely. It's put into the middle, and the corner dealt with. Alan San Maxima. Rakitic. This is a lovely spell on the ball. But it was a build-up with no end product. And Maximan. And with that, the first half comes to an end here in Brighton. Well, he's certainly been influential in the first 45 minutes. What have you made? And we're off for the second half. tackle and the ref will surely take action and he has been booked yellow card well he's gonna have to be careful now can't make any rash challenges or he'll be off <laughs> Stindl Moving the ball forward. What can they do with this? Oh, they were getting interested there, but not anymore. A chance now for a quick transition. In behind. Can he finish? It's there. And it's a goal that's a real settler for them. Two in front now. Well, we can see it again now, and they're so dangerous in these transitions. The speed of the counter-attack is really impressive. And what a finish. He goes for power. It was never in doubt. He just looks so confident running through. So it's 2-0 as the ball gets rolling again.
Hummels. Rakitic. Good passing, not looking to force it just yet. Kaoru Mitoma. Marega. Williams. He's in here. And further clear they go. There's surely no throwing this one away. Well, here we can see it again. You do have to feel for the keeper. He's left completely exposed at the back, and he never really had much of a chance. It's poor defending, you have to say. And we're back underway at 3-0. Rakitic. Sterling now. Stindl. Moving forward under no real pressure. And he's got it away. That was wonderful defensive work. And the game stops with the award of a free kick. Sterling. Oh, he caught that beautifully, and it's been brilliantly saved. And it's a short one. And the attack is over. Really good defending. Mings. Adam Webster. March. Full time is looming. What do we make oh, of this? It looks like there could be an opening here. Having a try. And the goalkeeper does what he's there to do. Corner kick played in. And that one is got away. Great chance here. And that's been seen as a foul. Free kick. Ivan Rakitic. And that is the final blast. Not the result that the visiting fans were hoping for. Sue, what did you make of it all? Well, I think the coaching staff will be furious after that. It clearly didn't implement the game plan. Hello and welcome to an evening that needs a bit of cheering up and what better way than with the game we're about to see. I'm Guy Mowbray to bring you commentary along with England legend Sue Smith and everything is set up nicely to give us a really good match. It's Al Ittihad and they face West Ham United. Cheers Guy, I think it's so important that both teams start on the front foot 
take the game to the opposition and an early goal would certainly settle any nerves. And with that, the first half is underway. Here's how the home side lines up. N'Golo Conte starts alongside Fabinho in central midfield and the main man in attack is Karim Benzema. Has the space to whip it in here. Still not clear. And there's the whistle. It's a penalty. This for 1-0. Well, if there were any nerves, they didn't show. A well-taken penalty. Well, here it is again. The keeper thinks it's going straight down the middle, so he doesn't dive. It makes for an easy finish in the end. So off we go at 1-0. Mojica. And the work pays off as they get the ball back. Fabinho. The approach play looked encouraging, but good defending to snuff out any threat. Openda. Moving forward well. Romarinho Karim Benzema Some good work to win it there Thomas Socek Antonio Lucas Paqueta Has a sense of real urgency to this attack Looking to put the cross in It's only halfway clear well, a bit of a disappointing end to the attack. The game brought to a halt, a free kick given for that. Surely they need to play a little bit higher up the field. Lovely weighted pass. In senior. Great defending. And the referee has given a penalty. This for the equaliser. And it's in. A show of composure from 12 yards out. Well, if you have a look at this again, it's a cool, calm penalty. The goalkeeper goes the wrong way and it's finished well. It's a really good strike.
And away we go again at one all. Lucas Paqueta. And the referee's whistle brings the first 45 minutes to a close. Off we go, the second half underway. He's beaten his marker here. Could be a chance. Brilliant work by the man in goal. That's a top stop. Well, they haven't had too much to cheer for a while, but a goal here would be huge. It's put into the middle, and the defence tidies up nicely. He's done well to get past his marker. Well, he's made his mark on the game, proving particularly hard to play against. He's causing problems. What a chance! It's there, and into the lead they go. Well, we can see it again now, and they're so dangerous in these transitions. The speed of the counter-attack is really impressive. And then what a finish, too. He gets plenty of power on it, which makes it hard for the keeper to save. It's a really good goal. So off we go at 2-1 now. Conte. Fabinho. Good passing, not looking to force it just yet. But unable to find the killer pass in the end. Benzema. And the goalkeeper gathers the ball in easily. And they need to be better on the ball than that. Unable to find anyone with that. The counter looks on here. Options available. Dumfries. They're not getting close enough here. And that's arrived just where the goalkeeper wanted it to go. And the hard work pays off. They won the ball. Promising looking attack this. And this could be. And unable to retain possession. Ben Rama. Well, you can sense the frustration growing. They just can't get near the ball. Ball taken away from them. Senior, and away it goes. And Golo Kante. Maxence Lacroix. That's it, full time, and it's West Ham who take the win. Your thoughts, Sue? Yeah, it was a close game, lots of energy from both sides, quite evenly matched, weren't they? But I think they deserve the result overall. Well, we know what a good player he is, and he's really showed it today. What's your verdict, Sue? 
Yeah, his performance was good. Crucial goal which gave them the lead and the belief to then go on and get the result. He showed quality throughout.